There was nothing about the starry sky that night to suggest that strange and mysterious things would soon be happening. Hagrid, at last. And where did you get that motorbike? Borrowed it, Professor Dumbledore, sir. No problems, were there? No, sir. House was almost destroyed, but I got him out all right. Nestled in the bundle was a baby, Harry Potter, the boy who lived. For the next 11 years, Harry lived with his dreadful Aunt Petunia, Uncle Vernon and Cousin Dudley, the Dursleys. Then one day, he received a letter inviting him to attend Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. Told you. Didn't I, Harry? Told you you was famous. Professor Quirrell. Harry, Professor Quirrell will be one of your teachers at Hogwarts. Potter, can't tell you how pleased I am to meet you. What sort of magic do you teach, Professor Quirrell? D -d Defence against the dark arts. Not that you need it, eh, P Potter? You'll be getting all your equipment, I suppose. I've got to pick up a new book on vampires myself. Must get on, lots to buy. Come on, Harry. Three up, two across. Right, stand back, Harry. Welcome to Diagon Alley. Just your wand left from Ollivander's. Oh yeah, and I still haven't got your birthday present. Hello? Good afternoon. Ah, yes. Yes, yes. I thought I'd be seeing you soon, Harry Potter. You have your mother's eyes. It seems only yesterday she was in here herself, buying her first wand. Ten and a quarter inches long, swishy, made of willow. Nice wand for charm work. Your father, on the other hand, favored a mahogany wand. Well, I say your father favored it. It's really the wand that chooses the wizard, of course. Well now, Mr. Potter, let's get started, shall we? If you'll kindly follow me. Have a look around, Mr. Potter. When you find a wand you like, Pick it up, and let's see if it likes you. Beechwood and dragon heartstring. Nine inches. Nice and flexible. Stand over there, on that platform, to try your wand. My goodness, definitely not.
beechwood and dragon heart string. Nine inches. Nice and flexible. Holly and... Holly and phoenix feather. Eleven inches. Nice and supple. Curious. How very curious. Sorry, but what curious? I remember every wand I've ever sold, Mr. Potter. Every single wand. It so happens that the phoenix, whose tail feather is in your wand, gave another feather. Just one other. It is very curious indeed that you should be destined for this one when it's brother. Why its brother gave you that scar? Yes. Curious indeed how these things happen. The wand chooses the wizard, remember? I think we must expect great things from you, Mr. Potter. After all, he who must not be named did great things. Terrible, yes, but great. Please retrieve the spell book that lies beyond. It will prove most valuable in all that lies ahead. Over here, Mr. Potter. Revolting! Vol oh. mm, peppermint! Over here, Mr. Potter. Mmm, booger flavour. Mmm, marmalade. Sardine flavour. Revolting. Mmm. Coconut. Spinach flavour. Mmm. <sighs> marmalade. Bravo, yes indeed. Oh, very good. Well done, Mr. Potter. Once you learn some more powerful magic, you'll be able to cast more powerful flippendo knockback jinxes.
if you'd kindly follow me. A wizard card! Felix Summerby Spinach flavor. Ugh, liver. Mmm, curry. These three large shields on the far wall can be flipped using your Flipendo knockback jinx. Flip them in the correct order. Before continuing, it may be wise to collect the folio bruti. Try knocking them over with Flipendo, then pick them up and lock them in the cages. <laughs> if you'd kindly follow me. The 
learn how to cast a spell while moving. You need to target the shield on this device and continue to cast Flipendo at it until the central section locks into place. Well done, Mr. Potter. <laughs> With the knowledge contained in this book, you'll be able to cast more powerful spells. Here's a helpful hint from the book, just for you. Build up the power on your wand, but be careful. Don't overpower your spells, or you could end up in a spot of trouble. <gasps> this time, I'd like you to power up the Flipendo spell before casting it. Like this. Flipendo! Well done, Mr. Potter. <laughs> if you'd kindly follow me, Hey, Harry. Happy birthday, Harry. She's beautiful. What's her name? Her name's Hedwig, and she's yours to keep. Thanks, Hagrid. We best be going now. The Hogwarts Express is leaving very soon, and you don't want to miss it.